What's up, everybody? It's me again with Mainstream Entertainment. This time we're coming at you with a part two to a video that I've previously made about how to make your custom branded QR codes. This time, we I have finally answered my own question as to how to get a password enabled Wi-Fi QR code. Again, we're going to be using Adobe Express to do this. Let's get into it. All right, all right, welcome back everybody. First thing we wanna do is open up our Adobe Clouds app suites, and then we're gonna swing on over to Adobe Express, open that up, okay? Now, previously, what we would have done, we would have started a new project by hitting the plus sign, and then we would have went to Quick Actions. And inside of Quick Actions, you would have found QR code generator or generate a QR code, right? Now, we don't want to use this one simply because all you can put in is a HTML website address. That's all you can do. I've tried many different ways to try and trick it, but nope, doesn't work. You can only put in a website. All right, so we're going to close this one out. We're going to go into the search bar and we're actually going to type in QR code. It should be the first to second one that pops up. Make sure it looks like this so I know we're on the same page. So go ahead and click on it. Now what these are are um, add-ons to your Adobe Express made by third-party people. So it's gonna ask you if you wanna install this, this third-party application. Go ahead and click learn more, go through the process of installing it. I've already installed it, so mine is just gonna open up when I click it. Now the good thing about this is that it can do HTML and text input, okay? But to be honest with you, any QR code generator that can take text input will be able to do this process that I'm about to show you now to make a Wi-Fi enabled QR code. Now make sure you click text, not the HTML, remove whatever's in the box, and we're gonna be replacing it with this little code snippet. This will work everywhere for everyone's Wi-Fi, okay? All you gotta do is replace it with your information and you're good to go. Now this format will work in any QR code generator. Remember that any QR code generator, this format will work. Just remember to remove these quotations in your final output and just to replace the SSID with your network name. Okay, remember to replace the SSID with your network name and replace the password with your password information. All right, and you'll be good to go. Now, some people's network has, is WEP. If that's the case, then just go ahead and put in WEP, all right, instead of WPA, uh, all right, and yours will work fine. Now, mine is WPA2, so I'm going ahead and put in a 2, and then I'm going to import my network name and my password so that I can make this demonstration work for you guys right now. And when you're done, it should look something like this. All right, all there is to do now is to just get out my iPad, scan this QR code, and see if it works. Put the camera out, scan it, and there you go. A simple format for your custom Wi-Fi enabled password QR code. Now, I know you guys see my password up there. For those of you with those crafty AI tools, if my blur isn't working for you, by the time you watch this video, my password will have changed. All right, so with that said, now you can just continue customizing this QR code with your branded information, putting your logo in the middle or whatever else you want to do to it. All right, I'm gonna speed through this part because if you want to go through this in more detail, you can watch my previous video, how to make a custom branded QR code. Just remember every step of the way, check your progress. This is Mainstream Entertainment. I want to thank you guys for stumbling onto my channel again, and we'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully when you're done, it'll look something like this. Your very own custom branded Wi-Fi enabled QR code. Peace.